Thank you for joining me for three minutes. Please have a look at my other videos, share them with a friend, and please subscribe. Today, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Now, the book of Proverbs is a great book to dip in and out of once you've understood how it works. So have a look at my previous video, Proverbs and Introduction, for that. But if you don't manage to have a look, get this simple understanding about the book of Proverbs. It contains memorable phrases for godly living. Memorable phrases for godly living. Now today's verse is part of the introduction to the book, chapter 1 verse 7. It's a Bible book that's about wisdom and it's full of wisdom. Actually, I think I would argue that the whole Bible is full of wisdom. So what is particularly significant about Proverbs is it tells us about wisdom. And we can see the value of wisdom. To fear God is wise and it pays rich dividends in our life. Now, I'm afraid of upsetting my loved ones. Not because they are mean and nasty, but because I don't want to hurt them. And in the same way, I fear God. I don't want to upset him, this mighty creator and ruler of the universe. This God has loved me so much. I know him as a shepherd over my life. I know him as a loving heavenly father. I want to follow, therefore, his instruction to love him back with appropriate behaviour in my life. I want to honour him in all that I do, all the things I say, in the decisions that I'm making. God is big and powerful and I am in awe of him. He makes me tremble, but I have learnt that he loves me, even continuing in genuine love for me when I mess up and reject him. This description of how we are to fear God is said to be the beginning of our wisdom. As soon as we hold God in his rightful place over our lives, we start to experience the benefits of living his way. As time goes on, the fruit of living in fear of the Lord is shown in the Christ-like character that develops in us and the peace we have as we face the hardships of living in this fallen world grows in our hearts. I recommend to you holding God in his rightful position above and over your life today. Live in a healthy fear of the Lord.